YouTube, it's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. Y'all know what it is when y'all step in the building, man. We back in these YouTube streets, you did. So, this said, man, we gotta talk about Turk responding to BG Diss Record, hands up. You feel me? And I must say, this this record, it really got the fans mad, bro. It really do. Because you know, BG threatened this man life. You know, he said that you got with whack. Called me a rat, knowing that it get you whack. I think that's how he said it. You know what I mean? Basically, he spoke on the drink champs. You know, just to put it all out there, man. Like you got to go check it out. Out of all of this records that he made about Turk, this one he, you know what I mean? He draw the line in the sand. But listen, Turk said he didn't know that the drink champ interview got taken out of context. He said nobody spoke about the good things that he said. And this crazy. Turk playing delusional at this point. Because Turk, when you get on that liquor, you be talking tough as hell. Like, you done called Jizz a lot for the fade. You know, you don't went that get gilly before. You was at your top on Drink Champs. I'ma just keep it real. I ain't never seen you. <laughs> I ain't never seen you act that way. But that alcohol, I don't know what they gave you that night. But you was feeling yourself because you felt like, to me, just watching the interview, you felt, I felt like you just had all your bullets aimed at cash money and Gilly. You know what I mean? Because you said Gilly didn't keep it real. Rick Ross didn't keep it real. T.I. didn't keep it real. If I'm not mistaken, you were saying Meek Mill didn't like, keep it real. But you definitely was mad at cash money. You definitely was. Now, me, I would never push that hard to work it out with anybody if they constantly telling me F me, I'm a P, and you know what I mean? Just going in on me like that. Like, we grown. We grown at the end of the day. So, if we can't work it out and you want to go your way and I go my way, okay, cool. But, we know Turk feel like this is his last chance. This is his last chance to get his hands on some real money. In order to do that, he got to make things right with the family. He got to make things right with the family. But you done said so much on these interviews. Instead of being humble and just waiting until to come home. So you just, you just, you lost it, bro. Like, Turk, you got to take some accountability. Like, we holding Jizzle accountable, but you acting like you innocent in this whole situation. Now, like I said, when you get on that liquor, you're a whole different person. But as soon as you get sober, you turn into Martin Luther King. You feel me? You talk about all the good things you done did, going to church. You know what I mean? You speaking good from a husband point of view. You know, you do this with your kids and all this, but once you get the alcohol in you, you can remember these words. I got money, nigga. You remember you kept saying that? You kept saying that on Drink Champ. Nigga, I got money, nigga. Now, I don't know who you was throwing that at because by you saying that, I hope you weren't challenging Stoner. You could have been challenging Weezy or Juvenile. They got more motion than you, so... Who was you throwing that up there in the air at? Cause ain't nobody come at you with no money, so why you kept saying that during the interview? Now, you spoke on Wayne catching the crabs, playing gay games, starting away and fake jury. Bro, you paying the new you you being delusional, you acting like you didn't do nothing wrong. And that's why folks going in on you like that. Then why, if if Jizzle is your brother like you claim BG is your brother, you would never get on interviews saying that your brother got bullied by another nigga. If you bro, if you my brother, why would you go on the interview talking about a nigga bullied me if you my brother? Nigga, that's in-house stuff. That ain't nothing to be out of. That's how you that's how you know when you get on that alcohol. You just say anything. So ain't no telling what you say when you get to sipping. When the camera's off. Ain't no telling who, who you be around when you be talking crazy, Turk. 
And like I said, Turk need the reunion so bad that he know this is his last chance of seeing some real money. So he willing to take all the disrespect. He knew he willing to take all the disrespect because he know Stoner don't want to see you with 50 cent in your pocket, bro. You know what I mean? He'll talk to gang. He'll accept gangster again before he, he accept you, Turk. Like, we seeing stuff that we'll never think happen. Like, another hot boy threatened to kill another hot boy. 2024. Wow. This is what it's going to come to. Man, y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. How y'all feel about Turk responding to BG? This record called Heads Up, man. Latch out the door is on the floor. I'm gone.